Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good Wednesday morning, December the 1st. Got the first day of a new month, so it's a good day to get going. Today, today is the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now, so get rolling. Get on fire this morning, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got here? We got positive energy coming from a positive energy button somebody sent me, so there we go. You are the designer of your own destiny. Correct. I believe that. And what else? Been living in RV a long time? That's fixing to come to a stop, I think. I uh, I like my house a lot. And it's the only thing I need to do is get the electric done and I'd be living there right now. But anyway, moving along. Uh, what else? Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is minus 6 degrees. Oh, God, a heat wave. You know, uh, with a... Jeez. Hey, Google, what's the temperature here? Right now in Bracketville, it's 54 degrees. With a high of 77 and no chance of rain. Is that good? Muy bueno. You know it. Hey, Google, make us laugh. Why was the stadium so cool? It was filled with fans. Okay. And uh, for the noon video today, I've got something you'll be surprised about. And then uh, later on, I, I made two, two videos today. Uh, one at noon and then one shortly after that related to some things for sale. <clears throat> so, be that as it may, what else have we got? Not much. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In. She, not, she lost her voice. It's 50 with a high of, yeah, it's 50 with a high of 58. That's pretty nice. So that tells me we may not we may have a mild winter, huh? Anyway, <clears throat> this person's name is Anna Rose Holt on my tiny my my tiny home. Says I like your nest, and I'm glad to hear you are making it to please you and not somebody else. <laughs> hell, 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 what'd you expect? No, no, this is my place. This is on the Home Depot stuff. The next two here, have it have vu too. I would love to see someone take this and finish this would be an awesome tiny home. It would be. This person's name is T-E-R, Tur. Don't forget you need a cement pad and sewage tank and live in most stake. That's 10K minimum. Always try to find the negative, Tur. Always look for the negative. You'll be a real success in life always looking for the negative. <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to look for the downside, though I have to tell you that. Southern Comfort on my tiny home looks nice. I bet it'd be really comfortable with a sofa in the living room to spread out and watch a good old Duke Wayne movie on, looking good. No, 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 uh, you know, don't buy a couch. You know, there's a, a, a YouTube channel I watch called Sailing Uma, and they sell t-shirts that says, don't buy a couch. <clears throat> Something be said about that. No, I'm just going to keep my little rocking chair in there, and I uh, got my little swivel chair to do the morning videos and stuff so no that's it that's that's as furnished as it's going to get and that chair that was in there that over padded thing uh went out on the patio so yeah we're we're, we're not no no we're not going to have much furniture that's it in fact we are fully furnished right now uh john lennon but it's l-e-i-n-e-n on the Home Depot thing, kind of reminds me of a modern version of the Clampett's old house from from the Beverly Hillbillies could be yeah uh, this is Cindy Campbell on my Cloudcroft place. It says, uh, it's a beautiful view. Yeah, it was a beautiful view, but it's too cold there. In fact, right now it's probably in the 30s. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Cloudcroft, New Mexico? The current temperature in Cloudcroft is 36 degrees. Yeah, so it's 27 degrees cooler there than it is here. Do I like th this? Yes, <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Cindy Campbell. It did have a beautiful view, though. The Dogman Chronicles. Check that channel out. That is by uh, Jim. He lives in a van with some dogs called the Dogman Chronicles. Check it out. J Dog, Dogman Chronicles. Looks good, Rusty. You've got the essentials covered. Hope the electrical is easily resolved. Thanks for showing us around. Goats, goats, goats. Here comes the old Billy Goat. Stinking Billy Goat to give you a good morning kiss. He's got one ear. The old nanny goat bit it off. <clears throat> Typical. 
This person's name is Captain Backwards <laughs> on the tiny home. I'm strongly considering getting a two-story one for myself and one more to set up to rent out to others. Fifteen to 20000 for a home for one to three people is not a bad deal at all. Uh, yeah, it's true. You, you don't have to live there forever. Thank you. Good comment. Prairie night moon on my tiny home, small home. You have a cozy little cabin there that's just right for you. It is, and I got a screened-in patio that is very enjoyable. And once I get this out of the way, I'll have a 180-degree view. <clears throat> nice. Yep. Not a great view, but an okay view. All this over here is like pasture, you know, mesquite and cactus and stuff. And straight ahead, there's some of these things like I've got. And so it's okay. It's fine with me. And I'm, 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 setting, up, I'm setting up camp here, guys. Uh, anyway, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin, says, I'm going to improve on my spare, not so much my strike, Rusty, LOL. It's good to get a strike, Rusty. I'm going to get a new two bowling ball, Radical, the Spy Plastic Spare Strike Bowling Ball, 14-pound bowling ball with dynamic core technology in the bowling ball, more strike and spares hitting power time. Way to go, Scotty. Sounds like you got it locked, baby. Thumbs up to you. The mass bowler from Wisconsin, Copper Man. <clears throat> he also says, cool comment, call, cool video talk. Thank you, sir. This person's name is D. D. That's an awesome thing, Rusty. Haven't looked in on you for about six months. This will give you many exciting projects with your new space. Yeah, there's a lot coming down the pipe, babe. A lot. <clears throat> Glenda Phillips, my tiny home, let me know how you like that cooktop. I need to get one for my little place, too. Yeah, I just got me a two-burner electric cooktop, and that's going to be my primary cooker, I guess. And then I've got a, I uh, also got me one of those countertop ovens. It's got, uh, it's a, uh, what do you call it, where the air moves, air fryer or whatever. It is. It's air fryer, oven, toaster, everything, all in one. <clears throat> this is on the uh, could you live in a storage building? You know, around 40 years ago, I built it. This is John Collins. Says, you know, about, around 40 years ago, I built a two-story, one-bedroom and living area with small bat, with a small bathroom at my dad and mom's house. Back then, we called it a clubhouse. Says, LME, we, and we used whatever we could find. As a matter of fact, city inspection guy came out because some noisy neighbor called in on us. We were having fun, and they weren't. Anyway, he said he would that we had done a great job. And anyway, he told my dad more kids <clears throat> should take on a project like that. Well, anyway, good for you, John Collins. Do it. Debbie Long on my tiny home. Great job, Rusty. And with this Texas weather, you can sit outside, LOL. Enjoy. Let me tell you guys, that the thing that has really made this adventure here, the tiny home for me, enjoyable has been the weather for the past two weeks. I mean, it's been great. And the next 10 day forecast looks really good. I'll check right now just to be sure. But yeah, it's uh, been really great. The next 10 days, we are in uh, uh, 70s and 50s all the way down. Yep. Not bad, huh? Is that good? Hell yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Bang Meister 2020 on the tiny home. That's that's all I need. Who wants to pay a half million for a house? Man, I don't. But I guarantee you, I looked at homes uh, in different places, and and for it was all of it to, for to get anything that was livable was two hundred fifty thousand. Mark Zahalem, what you're reading these days, Rusty? What am I reading? Actually, I'm reading, I don't know who wrote the book. I, I may think of it as I'm talking, but I'm, it's a, on my Kindle. And it's a sail, old sailing book. This guy uh, <clears throat> went on a sail, sailing ship in the late 1800s and uh, went over to England. Now he's coming back. Yeah, it's, and he was a young guy, you know, just starting out. So they gave him a hard time. And, but he's kind of seasoned now. So it's a pretty good book. Amanda says, on oh, this is on the tiny home, I got mine October the tw October 2020 from mid-Michigan Barnes, and it's 35 by 15 with 10-foot ceiling. I absolutely love it. It was 9500 after I customized the insulated floor and specific windows and doors. I'm slowly turning it into a tiny home. 
Good for you. Way to go, Amanda. Texas Ranch rocks on my tiny home. Hey, Rusty, you should go find a ghost writer and write a book together. I really think it would be a success, just a thought. A ghost writer? Yeah, that's what they do. You know, like uh, like all the presidents, you know, they have a ghost writer, and the ghost writer comes in and, and gathers information and goes and writes the story. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we're going to find a ghost writer. Bree M., Rusty, the guy who commented by the name of Smitty Weber Manjensen is a SpongeBob reference. Cool comment called Love Your New Place. Thank you, Bree M. This is E.G. <clears throat> says, really not bad at all on the tiny home. No, I agree. I thought it was a good deal. Uh, Tom Wilson, this is on my tiny home, the next two. It's just the right size. Not a lot of room for stuff. I don't need stuff. Uh, Tom Sharp, good stuff. Rusty, your tiny house is awesome. Hope to see it someday. Do you? Well, you'll see it. Don't worry. I'll do a video. Okay, then we got Tom Sharp on my tiny home. Says, uh, Oh, he says he hopes to see it. I just read that. Mimi Da Vinci, love your advice on the tiny home. Whatever, thank you. Lori Rock River, that's awesome. That's on the tiny home, de home, home depot home. Even better for those who need to make payments less than 400 a month. Excellent. Thank you for sharing this. You're very welcome. This is RV Living with the Geezer. Check that channel out. <clears throat> this is on my home. Really looking good, Rusty. I really like the floor on the screen porch. Yeah, he spent some money on that. That's that super fiberglass board they make. Yeah, he put it, but he put it over an old deck. <clears throat> Apparently, that was uncovered at one time. And when he covered it, he added that new stuff or whoever. Uh, anyway, thank you. Freedom for all. Comfort. Storage building. Converted. Oh, this is on the tiny home. Good way to have a guest house. Yeah, good way to have anything. Good way to have a home. Ivy Ivy 12 on my first home base, Thorny. Old Thorny, my old cactus. I got cactus everywhere here. It says memories. Yeah, it is. Memories are what they are, you know. And uh, sometimes you got to let a few of them go, you know what I mean? Because some of those memories will drag you down. Smack dab in the middle. That's the person's name my, on my tiny home. Looks awesome, Rusty. I wish I could have a place like that. I would recommend clean up all those wires on the floor, though, so you don't trip on them, etc. God bless and good night. Well, no, I'll clean them up as soon as the as soon as I have uh, the electrical fixed. Right now, I'm just using that. There's a couple of outlets in the third or that one bedroom, the only bedroom <clears throat> that have power, and I'm using them to run a vacuum cleaner and run a little heater and stuff. So no, it, it, that'll be gone. Uh, Zaytuni J Cotterill on my tiny home, the white. Rocking chair is pretty, and color of choice for the furniture, red, wh blue, white. You're a patriot indeed. Well, it's just pure accident. I mean, I didn't plan it. Little Kittle on my tiny home. Love it all. Great choices and good, and good call getting smaller appliances in the kitchen. That TV stand is really nice, too. Maybe you could put links to all the items that you have purchased on Amazon so others can check them out and maybe purchase them as well using your link. <clears throat> That's a good idea. <clears throat> that is a good idea. But yeah, thank you, little kittle. Uh, Julie Costagnero, did you spray the chair with Lysol? I don't have any Lysol. Yeah, but no, I didn't. Uh, Hedis Kedis, that's the person's name. Thanks for this. That was on the tiny home. You're very welcome. Hedis Kedis. This is Geor Georgian Maloney uh, thank, on the, my tiny home. Your place is looking very nice. Yeah, it's going to be fine when I get it all finished. i got a few more things to do. And, uh, you know, I'm building those little closet things for the bedroom now. I've got two of them that you assemble, of course, and they got a jillion parts. But I've got one of them done yesterday, and I'll do the other one today. I have two of them in the bedroom to hang my clothes on and to put my socks, underwear, T-shirts, and stuff. So, and stuff is right. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, what else we got here? Uh, HG Aviator, worst review of Casita I've ever seen. Well, good for you. Matilda loves you, babe. Ha <laughs> ha, Matilda, come on, baby. Get up here and read old HG Aviator. See him right there? Ain't he nice? 
Well, he's going to buy you breakfast this morning. <laughs> All righty. We're not going to ban you forever, HG Aviator. What a negative ass. You know what I mean? Here you go, uh, Matilda. HG Aviator is going to provide you with, let's think, some waffles with strawberry syrup and uh, a side of uh, hash browns, sausage, and a glass of orange juice for your breakfast. Here you go. Thank you, HG Aviator, for your negative crap. <clears throat> Matilda thanks you. Uh, here we go. This is Pan's Plosion Benchmarks, whatever that is. This is on the tiny home at Home Depot. As an 18-year-old, I think this is a very good deal and starter home because at least $30K total that she and everything to finish the house I think that would be a darn good deal. I mean, could pay off in five years and, and not have to worry about a 20-year-long house payment. That's amazing. See, this old guy here, Pan Plosion, is thinking. No, that's good thinking, my friend. If you're just 18 years old, you're on the right track. You're thinking. Good for you. Seeing Dio's Dodd, Dodd, Dio's Dade or whatever, on my tiny home. Things are looking good in Rusty Land. It looks like you will be busy assembling a few days. Yep, 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 yep. You're getting more stuff than a stuffed turkey. Enjoy your life, Chuck and Gloria. Actually, it seems like a lot of stuff, but it ain't. It's what I need only. You know, it's it's not it's not things I want necessarily. It's things I need because see, it doesn't have a closet. There's no closet in that home. <clears throat> so I had to come up with an idea for storage for like towels and all kind of stuff because when I move out of here, uh, I got a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? So anyway, but no, and I'm going to sell my Class C motorhome. I'm going to do a video about that today, and get that going. Uh, and and uh, yeah, you'll have to check. You know, the, 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 I've got a, I've got a Thor Four Winds 22E. It's a 2021 year model, brand new. It's only a year old. Be a year old December the 9th. and uh, it's got like 11,000. Does it have that many miles on it? No, my car has 11,000. I think this thing's got. 8,000 miles on it. It's not very many. It's it's very few. And, and of course, the, every, the, the engine and everything is still under warranty and all that. But anyway, it's a Thor 4 Winds 22E 2021 model. And they range in price. The low end is like 66000 And the high end is all the way up to almost ninety. You know, whatever they can get. And But, I, you know, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. I'm not going to be a, a hog. <clears throat> no, no. I'll be fair. 90. <laughs> I'm kidding. ZM, good luck getting it to code. That's on a tiny home. You're very welcome. Always negative. You know, boy, always looking at the bad side. You know, if you look at the positive side of the thing, it's a hell of a... If I got a good antenna sticking up... Yeah, I got one right there. <laughs> God dang. That old gray hair just does that. I mean, you know what I mean? Mr. CJ Cab 64, nice tour. But where do the goats sleep? Back on the meds. Okay, I got you. Here comes the old screaming... Billy goat give you a stinking kiss. Well, let you, I'll give you one from the old nanny goat, too. Here comes a nanny goat stinking goat kiss. A nanny goat stinking goat kiss. See, she's got lipstick on. Anyway. Uh, yeah, she does. Anyway. Uh, thank you, Mr. CJ Cap 64 We'll do three more, and then we'll shut her down. John Jeffrey. Here we go. Here's a negative thinker here. This is on the tiny home Home Depot. Problem is septic and water and gas and electric. Hook up pretty much another whole 20,000. Stuff has to be done by code and inspected and be such. Then can can you do your sheet rocking and plastering, flooring, oh, another 15 grand. Thank you very much, John Jeffrey, for your load of negative crap. My God. This person's name is OK Steve. Uh, this is on my house, my tiny home. Little house isn't my cup of tea, but you do you and I'll do me. You've come a long way. I have, but I do me too. Two more. Van Life Dolly. I plan on doing this too. It's simply an easy living and it's basically already built. Yeah, you got it. You can live in it just when they finish it. Two more. Stroker Ace. It looks like Christmas showed up. Sure did. Joe Frugal uh, on Bachelor. It says Bachelor Decor. Yeah, as in bare minimum. But anyway, guys, from... From where? From where? Where do you live, Rusty? <clears throat> I live at Fort Clark Springs, Texas, right next to Brackettville, Texas. Sometimes I forget. But be that as it may, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. 
anytime but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of my videos and get you an antenna like mine you know use the amazon link doesn't cost you one penny yeah you just if you're using your smartphone you got to extend the description and you'll see the you'll see the uh the uh, link and click on that it takes you to amazon it'll take you to a certain place you don't have to buy anything there you can go anywhere you want during that shopping session and amazon takes care of me and some of you have and some of you are Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anyway, what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. No, yeah, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. <clears throat> and then what else? Yeah, the only way to lose weight and keep it off, you know it and I know it, is eat less. That's the only, that's the only math that works. Okay, you can't eat more and lose weight. That ain't going to work. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do that several times a day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately. No, wrong. Do it several times a day because, yeah, you, it, it'll lower your blood pressure. That's why. And then what else? Stretch. 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 Swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. That's why. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So common sense says, add good ingredients. No problemo. And then... What else? <clears throat> don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Why? Because it's the negativity from the whole universe brought to you by talking heads, highly paid talking heads to get in your head. And of course, they'll exaggerate and lie if they have to because they got to get the ratings up. The ratings don't go stay the same or go up. They're out, out, out. So to keep their million dollar job, they will take liberties with the truth. So if you want to get the negativity, read it takes all the emotion out. Or option three, do your own research. How about that? I know it takes an extra 30 seconds and I know you're busy people. But anyway, having said that, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios. Aloha until the noon video, which will be something to sell. Yeah, like my, I think I'll do my son's casita first because he wants to sell his 2019 Freedom Deluxe, I think is what it is. I can't even remember now. But anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.